Yeah, this is driving me nuts. So every time I play big team, I just realize how more and more unfair a high power is. So let me give you an example. All right, let's see how many precision weapons there are on eagle side. Okay, we got one and then two. That's pretty good, right? All right, let's go on the Cobra side or wherever the other team is. So you got one precision weapon. That's pretty good. But as you go around the back, there's a second one. That's all right, you know, it's fair, two of them. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. No, there's a third one. And there's a fourth one. Oh, it can't be that bad, it can't be any more. No, no, wait, there's a fifth one. And finally, a sixth one. So basically, one side got two precision weapons, and the other side got six. How, how is that fair? I, I really didn't really think about it, like, until after playing so many big team maps. Like, I'm thinking, why do the other team get loads of BRs and commandos? And then I realised there isn't any on one side of the map. It's driving me nuts. So I was going to make a video about high power being unfair in a different way. But now I'm thinking, wow, this map is actually really unfair. So... The other thing I want to address is the middle weapon has a perfect overview from this base, from a Cobra base, meaning they can see what the power weapon is and when it's going to spawn. Meanwhile, the other side cannot see it at all. So the other problem is vehicle spawn is right in front of the Cobra base, meaning they can see what when the vehicle goes drop in perfect view. Meanwhile, the other side don't even have a vehicle drop at all. Like, yeah, it is partly symmetrical. Both sides got a vehicle drop, but Cobra side got an additional vehicle drop in a way because they got a, they have cover overlooking where the vehicle will spawn. So what side do the Eagle team have an advantage in? Well, when they fly over to grab a sniper or a skewer on the top hill over a man cannon, they have a clear overview of all the spawn. The cobra and it's like okay that's pretty neat but the problem is with cobra having all the precision weapon the sniper will get put under pressure if they're decent players using it to put them under pressure also i find it a bit weird how the cobra side or whatever side you want to call it when you're camping wasp spawn you know taking the enemy team wasp which you should do there's more cover meaning like I, I don't see the point of eagle side at all. It seems super un, super unbalanced. Oh yeah, and in the last video I said 343 will be buffing the walls by health. We don't know how much. It might be the tiniest amount, but it's still, it's OP. My dude, like, you see clips of people getting, mit, like, killionaires in this constantly. Because it's obvious, it's just a no, it's just really powerful. If someone got a Hydra, then you should hide behind the mountain and third person with the camera. So yeah, the thing I want 3 for 3 to do is add in more weapon placement for the Eagle side. Which they did in Deadlock, the BTB map Deadlock, they added a few weapon racks, they rotated them around and made it symmetrical, you know, more even, more fair. So there are low spaces. They could put a weapon rack here, you know, like a commander or a BR. Or they can put one over here. Or this is a big empty space. They could put anything here. And yeah, you know, and here. Low loads of walls, loads of possibility. But they don't. This side got a good, you know, like, oh yeah, there's a shock rifle or a stalker rifle here, safe. Which is pretty good, but I don't know, having like five or six precision weapons seem a bit unfair. And also, I don't even see why plasmas are up here. Like, nobody, nobody can need a repulsor to climb up there. But yeah, that's just my short run. I just think high power is a really terrible map. Like, I thought Deadlock was terrible until 343 updated it with a ghost, less shock rifle, even BR and commando on either side, but the problem is, is vehicle spawns. They need to fix vehicle spawns. 
where, you know, if a team get a wraith, the other team should get a wraith. Not a bloody, oh, you know, you get a gun goose and they get a scorpion. Unfair. But anyway, yeah, that's what I want to see in the drop pod update. You know, drop pod one or two, I don't know. It's just, there's so much stuff to be worked on. I think there's a lot of stuff that could be worked on through the custom options, if there's a way, I don't know. But yeah, I've been Crespo. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you in the next one.